Hello everyone. On behalf of Thinknix Technologies, I welcome you all to this informative video on ITIL. It is specially designed for the absolute beginners. My name is Suraj Kumar and I am a technical project manager at Thinknix. I have a decade of experience across various roles in project management and service delivery. Today, I am happy to share my knowledge with you. So without further delay, let's get started. In this video, we will dive into the world of ITIL and explore its various stages of life cycle. We will gain a solid understanding of the key ITIL processes and how they can benefit our organization. We will also cover some best practices for implementing ITIL at our workplace. So whether you are new to ITIL or looking to refresh your existing ITIL understanding, this video is a must watch for you. ITIL stands for Information Technology Infrastructure Library. It is a proven IT service management framework that provides organizations with a set of best practices for delivering high quality IT services. Regarded as one of the most widely adopted approaches, ITIL focuses on aligning IT services with the specific needs of the business and enabling organizations to deliver services that are customer centric and quality driven. ITIL was first developed in the late 1980s by the UK government agency CCTA. The initial version included a comprehensive set of 30 books that covered various aspects of service delivery, support, operations and security management. During the 90s, it was recognized as a standard for IT service management and around year 2000, version 2 was released. Later, in 2007, version 3 was introduced, placing a greater emphasis on the business value of IT services and introducing a service lifecycle approach. In 2011, Exolos took ownership of ITIL and released a revised version that addressed errors and inconsistencies with version 3. Finally, in 2019, ITIL version 4 was launched which promoted a more holistic approach to service management by emphasizing the integration of IT service management with other business functions. There are five stages in ITIL lifecycle. Service strategy, service design, service transition, service operation and continual service improvement. Now, we will deep dive further and understand each of the stages with a case study. Let's say there is an e-commerce company that has been growing very rapidly. And with this growth, they are struggling to keep up with the customer demands and maintain the quality of their services. Hence, they decide to implement ITIL to better manage their IT services and align them with their business goals. Let's move further to understand the first stage of ITIL lifecycle. Service strategy. This stage is dedicated to aligning the IT organizations with the business needs. This critical stage focuses on assessing, defining and executing strategies for service offerings. The ultimate goal is to make strategic decisions that drive long term growth and success. Service strategy is built upon four P's, that is perspective, position, plan and pattern. These components provides a framework for organizations to develop their service strategy. In our example, this stage would involve defining the e-commerce company's overall service strategy and identifying the services that are needed to meet the needs and expectations of its customers. It would include conducting a market research on customer needs to identify the services that they value most and how those services can be delivered. Developing a service roadmap that outlines how the company will deliver new services and improve existing services over time, such as faster shipping options, guarantee of better product quality, and attractive offers. Let's understand the next stage. Service design. 
It is the second stage in ITIL life cycle. It provides a blueprint for designing new IT processes and services. This stage is focused on presenting new, innovative and appropriate processes that fulfill present and future requirements, ensuring that the implementation, integration and impact of the new services are considered at all stages of the life cycle. One of the primary objective of service design is to create user-friendly and competitive services that meet the needs of the market. This is achieved by focusing on four P's, that is people, products, processes and partners. By considering these elements in the designing of new services, organizations can ensure that their offerings are competitive, innovative and aligned with the user needs as well as the business objectives. In our example, the e-commerce company would focus on designing the services that are needed to support the service strategy. It would include creating product and service catalogs, defining service level agreements, and developing processes and procedures for service management. By designing the services that align with company's service strategy and service level requirements, the e-commerce company can ensure that its IT services deliver the value that customers are expecting. Now, let's move further to the next stage. Service transition. This is the third stage in ITIL life cycle. The main objective is to manage the smooth transition of new or changed services, ensuring that all changes to service management processes are carried out in a coordinated way. The service transition stage verifies that new or modified services meet the business expectations as defined in the service strategy and service design phases of life cycle. It provides a framework to assess the service capability and risk before the release or deployment of a new or modified service. In our example, the e-commerce company would focus on transitioning the services that are designed in the previous stage to the operational environment. It would include testing the services, planning and managing the changes, training the staff, deploying the services, monitor them and analyze the customer feedbacks. With this, the e-commerce company can ensure that the new services are deployed smoothly and with minimal disruptions to the business. Service operation. It is the fourth stage in ITIL life cycle. The main focus here is to deliver and manage the services to the customers. This phase directly impacts customer satisfaction and secures the value of the services provided. This stage is responsible for ensuring that services are meeting the agreed upon service level agreements and aligning with strategic objectives. The key processes in this stage include event management, incident management, request fulfillment, problem management, and IT operations control. These processes ensure the delivery of quality services to the customers and address any issues that may arise during service delivery. In our example, the e-commerce company would focus on managing and delivering the services that have been transitioned to the operational environment. This might include incident management, where the company will manage incidents related to the services offered, such as customer issues with online shopping or delivery problems. Problem management, where the company will identify the root cause of an issue and implement a permanent fix to prevent it from happening again. Event management, where the company will monitor the services offered. Service desk, which helps company to handle the customer inquiries and support related requests for the services offered. With this, the e-commerce company can ensure that the customers have a positive experience with the services which are offered to them. Now, 
Let's understand the next stage of ITIL life cycle. Continual service improvement. It is the final stage in ITIL life cycle. It employs quality management methods to continuously enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of IT services and processes. It is a recurring organizational activity which is aimed at ensuring that the organization meets the expectations of its stakeholders. This stage follows a seven step process which includes identifying the strategy for improvement, defining what to measure, gathering data, processing the data, analyzing information, presenting and using the information, and finally implementing the improvements. In our example, the e-commerce company would focus on continually improving the services which are offered to meet the changing customer needs and expectations. This might include collecting and analyzing the service data, identifying the opportunities for improvements and implement them, review and evaluate the effectiveness of service improvement such as tracking changes in the reduced rate of online shopping cart abandonment. The ongoing enhancement of services provided by the e-commerce company is essential for maintaining their competitiveness and meeting the ever-changing needs and expectations of customers. Now let's understand some of the key ITIL processes. Change management. It is a structured approach for tracking and managing changes within an organization. Its purpose is to implement effective strategies for managing and implementing changes to minimize disruptions and ensure smooth transitions. This process is essential for organizations to adapt the evolving needs and requirements. Problem management. The recurring incidents are known as problems. Problem management in ITIL is a process that aims to minimize the impact of incidents by identifying and resolving their underlying causes. It focuses on finding the root cause of recurring incidents and preventing them from happening again. Its ultimate goal is to restore normal service operation as quickly as possible and minimize the adverse impact on business operations. Service level management. It is a process of managing and maintaining the agreed level of services between the service provider and the customer. It includes defining, negotiating, documenting and monitoring service level agreements to ensure that the service provided meet the needs and expectations of the customers. The aim is to improve customer satisfaction by meeting or exceeding their expectations for service quality. Incident management. Incident is a single unplanned event that causes service disruption. The aim of incident management is to restore the services as quickly as possible. It involves identifying, logging, categorizing, prioritizing and resolving incidents in a timely and efficient manner. ITIL benefits. Implementing ITIL in an organization can provide numerous benefits such as improving service quality, enhancing IT business alignment, increasing customer satisfaction, supporting business outcomes, setting a standard for best practices. ITIL can also lead to increased productivity, better risk management, improved communication and collaboration within the organization, and greater flexibility and agility to adapt the changing business needs. Now, as we have understood the different stages of ITI life cycle, its key processes and benefits, it is important to understand the best practices to implement ITIL in an organization. To successfully implement ITIL in an organization, it is important to define the clear objectives and develop a roadmap that engages stakeholders. 
Starting with small improvements and continuously refining the process is a key to successful adoption of ITIL best practices. With this, we have come to an end of this tutorial. We hope you found it useful. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. To learn more about our organization, feel free to click on the link provided in the description box. We shall see you in our next video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates from us.